Hey everyone, this is Jim at sp500chart.com. It is October 2nd, 2012, about quarter after four here on the East Coast. Before we get started, I hate to always have to take up um, your time, but i got to read it. And that is the website and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research. And you need to make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional, by the way. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's do it. Okay, starting out with a 30-minute chart of the S&P. You'll see, if you're an astute observer, you'll see that I've taken this top line from our symmetrical triangle and I've extended it and you'll notice how neatly yesterday's high failed to get over that line now I mentioned yesterday that we were up near the apex um, of this triangle which is typically a place where resistance or support depending on whether the breakout is is above or below no matter which way the triangle breaks that apex level typically is an area of technical significance creating either resistance or support and in this case since it broke to the downside it appears that it's created resistance but I've extended this line down and the reason I've done it is is pretty simple is that if the S&P is going to bounce off of this bottom line which it still really hasn't firmly tagged but if it's going to bounce off this bottom line and head up to try to go uh, for another touch, probably in the in around 1490, then getting over this line, while it seems painfully obvious as a prerequisite, I would say if it gets over this line and then pulls back to it and starts to head back up, then that might give us a clue that we are heading back up. Um, for another tag in this channel, but you know, I, I'm I'm not holding my breath for that, and there's a couple reasons why. If my chart will reappear, thank you. I want to show you something that's a little different about where we are right now and where we have been in the past during the history of this channel, and basically this is what I want you to see. Um, I want you to see that each time we tagged this bottom line, for the most part, it created a pretty quick rebound. But here, for about a week, we have been just kind of edging up this line. Now, I know yesterday started off with a nice move to the upper 1450s, but, you know, the, the fact remains we have been... Uh, let's do this. Let's take this green channel and do our little bisection of it here. And it, isn't that amazing? Look here. We have resistance here, broke through it, got temporarily tied up with it here, came down, broke through, through this uh, midline. So you can see how this line is having um, is presenting itself as having a little um, technical sway as we bounce around between these bigger lines it, it appears to me that this this middle line is is kind of catching things up a little bit it's it's not a major technical line but the reason I show this is if you'll see each time we hit this bottom it wasn't too long before we were up over this midline okay here a couple days boom up over it came back down even a little lower but a couple days later boom back over it here we were under it for like what two days boom back over it this time back in uh, late August we kind of worked sideways a little bit more but once we broke out of this little pattern here, boom, we were back over it. This time, we've come down to this lower green line, 
and the market has yet to present that kind of buying strength, that almost instant move. And I say instant, meaning the that you can see these green candles right here. Boom. Big green candles, big green candles, big green candles, big green candles. And here we just kind of are looking at indecision. So for what it's worth, I think that might be something to keep in mind. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep today's video pretty short once again. Uh, by the way, you can see that at least momentarily, our little um, purple support line here did break. Um, I don't know how important that is because it didn't break by much. But this is, again, the line to watch. And we're very close to it now. That line would be at about, come to daddy, tomorrow that line would be at about 1438. So it's only seven points below where we closed today after this little uh, late day strength. And if we look at a five minute chart, the case could be made that, um, that even this small line, this very short term line over the last two tops, mm, maybe technically, technically significant, could give us a clue if the market moves up over that tomorrow that, um, that there may be a, a little bit of strength left in this market. But once we get over, if we were to get over this line, we still got this, uh, this uh, top line right here, which is the extended resistance line of our symmetrical triangle. So guys, I think that's about all that needs to be said today. Today was really pretty much a continuation of what was set in motion after that large move up early yesterday. And that is just kind of selling back in, in something of a, for what right now appears to be a fairly controlled um, manner. So let's just keep an eye on it. We've got a, f a couple of other support lines down here. So it really, there's a, it's a fairly complex chart right now, but I think the predominant feature is, is going to end up being this channel that we've been watching um, over the past uh, number of weeks. So let's just continue to keep an eye on this. And uh, as always, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this uh, video. I want to especially thank those who are subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we're, we're coming up, well, we're right at the, the, the year anniversary for the subscription site. And this is the two-year anniversary um, of my YouTube channel and when I first started this site under a different name. So, guys, I really do want to thank you for, for, your, uh, for your attention and, and for your support. And I hope you get something out of this. I, it's not that important for me to be right, okay? I just want to say that. What's important is that we all learn from what we do. So thanks again for, for paying attention, and uh, I wish you all the best in the markets tomorrow.